Well, you wanted a full update on the tank? Well, here it is with a major piece of bad news. On this episode, we're going to look at an update of the tank as usual, uh, taking you through step by step of each coral that's in the tank and how it's doing. This one differs in the fact that a major showpiece on the tank, I almost lost a complete coral. It was a week long struggle to get it under control and almost the full colony is gone. So with that being said, let's go to the tank and check it out. So we're starting on the left hand side of the tank down by the sand where the rainbow trachea is residing. This coral is getting huge. It's almost taken up this whole corner section of the tank and it's about double or tripled in size since I, I got it. So it's eating like a horse uh, and just everything you put on it, it'll uh, open up and receive it. So. I'm really happy about the way this coral is, is growing out. Now right behind it, the gold, green, and purple candy cane. Again, this is really liking where I put it um, since I moved it. You can actually see noticeable growth in the coral in the fact that right here and right here, it's pinched off and starting to create new heads, as well as this one massive head right above where the trachea is. So. Um, that's where it's going to stay from now on and, and hopefully it does really well as it matures out. Right here you can see the Acan Barrow Banky. You can see how it's basically growing and now you can see more and more there is more uh, in the way of um, heads that you can see on the bottom more mouths forming. So hopefully that continues to do so. I'm probably gonna move it to a rock and allow that to spread out some more. The, right next to the candy cane is the scoli, the button uh, scoli. And again, this is starting to uh, spread off the plug. Now, one thing I do notice is that it's getting shaded a little bit by the candy cane. So I'm gonna probably move that to a, a new area to allow it to, to grow more. The fungia plate is still doing well as well as most of the things in this area. You can see that the favia is starting to get more and more um, eye development and more and more mouths are forming on it. The blastos are really doing well and underneath these two big huge polyps are a bunch of little babies. So again, this is another one that's gonna have to have a decision where I may put it on a rock and hopefully it'll spread out more. Uh, of course, the Acan garden continues to impress more and more and uh, especially right here you could see right here with the orange ones that are here and also the pink ones that was just an experiment by me and Billy Pipes. They're starting to spread out. The pink plug, the, the pink ones are growing on a plug, a square plug, and I'm gonna move that to a rock also to allow it to grow out. Uh, the main colonies, my first original two main colonies continue to grow and everything's doing well as far as the acans are concerned. You can see right here, this is the piece of green uh, encrusting Monty that I have um, growing there and it continues to do well. All the pieces in this area are doing really nicely. Uh, here's the night before Christmas Favia. I may really relocate this because I want to put a encrusting, a different kind of encrusting coral on this shelf. Uh, the red Setosa really doing well and getting big and huge now. Going back to the tower, you can see how big this Hollywood Stunner is getting. Uh, the one underneath it is going to have to be fragged off because it's not getting the proper lighting that it needs and I need to really um, get that under control. The red Digi and the purple Digi, they continue to grow out as well as the chalice that's there and just these little corals that I'm just using to fill out the tower and rebuild that colony. Mid tank, here is 
the birthday cake coral and you can see just how much that's encrusting over and how those eyes are filling out as well as the maize brain favia in the back are doing really well and that one's encrusted off the plug now and completely on the rock right here this piece of mystic sunset uh, encrusting monty is doing really well really well over here you can see the red monty pour just how it's plating out and really really starting to grow a lot now uh, a lot of things have taken off in the tank as far as growth wise uh, probably this one and the red digi you can see that almost half dollar size uh, piece that's encrusted to the to the overflow as well as the Monty are some of my biggest growers right next to the red Monty is the infamous Jason Fox Barney coral and it's really starting to take off you can see most of the neon green is gone and that's because it is used to the light now and it's starting to purple up and you can see the tips you can't really tell on this camera they look a little bleached but what that is is a really bright bluish purple so I'm really loving that coral now right here is the mist the space odyssey acropora from worldwide corals and it's right next to the hispada montipora that I got from them both these corals like this part of the tank and it's just about the top of the midline so much so that I don't know whether you can make it out but the um, acro is actually starting to sprout out some orange on its tips if the yellow tang would get out of the way and also the green hispata is getting some orange in it as well so it's going to be uh, really interesting to see how they grow out and fill out this section right here is the top of the euphelia garden where the torch is sitting it really likes the new position and I'm very very excited about how it's filling out there the rest of the um, euphelias are doing really really well especially the ones that the clowns love and also this piece of hot pink Ghani uh, that I got from Aquarium Care Center that's really doing well and, and all those little little heads of babies they come out every day there's a new one so I'm hopeful that this continues to do well and um, makes it in my tank. I'm not going to feel comfortable with this until it's about six months in. So we'll see. Time will tell. Right here is a green postal pour that I picked up from Respy. And um, it was a small frag, but the polyps are really extending out. And I'm hopeful that it really enjoys where it is now. Um, it's, it's a matter of finding out where it's going to grow out. Uh, so. We'll see and see how it does over time. Now, right here is the Zoa shelf. Probably the most successful part of my Zoa collection um, is this area of the shelf. Here's the worldwide uh, coral Pandora corals. Um, there was two when I moved it here. There's now five. So they're growing really, really well. As well as this section here, where the other chaos, the Fiji fires, and the Sunny Ds are located. One thing I want to point out is the bright pink spots on the rocks. And you can see just in the center of the screen, right about here, that little white dot, that's at an Asterina star. And that's what they do. The bright white ones, the white ones, um, they have dark ones that go after zoanthids. I have the light ones and they love coral and algae. And you'll see on my rocks um, patches of bright pink. Uh, that's where they are chewing and consuming it. So a harlequin shrimp is soon to be in this tank. Now moving to the right side, here are the red jawbreaker mushrooms. And you can see now there is the three main ones that I had. And there's three babies, one a little bit bigger and then the two smaller ones right there. So they're growing and I'm really, really excited about that as well as the rosters in the center are growing right here. Um, the small little toddler fungia plates doing well and also excited about my two little rock flower anemones are settling in and coloring up. Now, as you may have taken notice, this is the bad news of the tank 
This is the bad news of the tank. Right here used to be the neon green candy canes. One day I noticed that one of the heads had a little brown slime on it and I didn't know what it was. Well, as time went along, most of the colony got that brown fungus on it. it after cutting and cutting many, many times, you could see now that the only remaining parts of that colony are these four or five heads on this frag and the three on this one. So now I have two frags of it and hopefully um, I'll be able to rebuild the colony from it, but it really took a hit and it was really heartbreaking to see that slowly dwindle down and disappear. So I think also what may happen is a frag of this may go to Billy Pipes so I can bank that coral over his tank along with a frag of the uh, purple uh, candy cane. So, fish wise, for the first time you can see one of the blue eyed cardinals have come out and he's getting cleaned by the shrimp. Um, both clowns are really doing well and sometimes are a real pain in the butt. Um, the yellow tang and the powder blue are having turf, war, you know, basically turf wars in the tank right now and he is the main instigator. I don't know whether he's long for the tank. I may trap him and try and, you know, either find him a new home or take him to um, an LFS that'll give me credit. And maybe I'll talk to John over at Aquarium Care Center and see if he would like to have him in his store uh, to sell for me. Everything else is doing really well. So uh, that pretty much brings a close to this update. So, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And also, if it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get reminded of uh, the next episodes. Uh, returning subscribers, you know the deal. Make sure the bell's hit so you know when the next episode will be out. So that's it for this episode, and I will check out everybody very soon around the Reese tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.